Hey, what's up, guys? This is Haruki, community manager for Champions Destiny. Last week, we asked you guys to send us any questions you may have with the game. So now, the moment has come. Off we go with some answers. Okay, let's start off with the first question. The Onyx asks, are you going to add voice messages or chat in battle? Ah, uh, yes. Wouldn't it be great if you could tell that assassin friend of yours to stop attacking the tankiest enemy around? Short answer, yes. There are different possibilities we are contemplating right now when it comes to match communications. For instance, we are considering adding voice chat, but we also know some players don't play with sound, so we have other ideas as well. In the end, it will be all about maximizing strategy and team coordination. Warduke asks, Rognor is my best champion, but I rarely get MVP. How do you calculate MVPs? First of all, rest assured, we don't have anything against Rognor, or you, for that matter. The current formula for the MVP is calculated as the player on the winning team that has dealt and received most damage, as well as helped their team the most. On the other hand, we have received lots of feedback concerning this, so we may change the formula in the future. Moving on to the next one, PSA Loki asks, when are you planning to open the bronze and gold leagues for Alliance tournaments? Right now, the volume of alliances in Champions Destiny is not big enough to open the bronze and gold leagues. We are seeing some amazing competition between alliances right now, and we'd like to keep it that way. As soon as the scene becomes bigger and we get more players, we'll open the remaining leagues. So go and tell your friends about Champions Destiny right now. Xmaster asks, or rather exclaims, we need more avatars. Ah, them sweet customization options. Yes, we have different ideas on how to add more flavors to your player profiles, from portrait selection to special badges. This will certainly come in future updates. And another one, Player Corfis asks, do you plan on adding card trading with teammates or friends in the future? Yes, a card donating system for alliances is definitely coming. Alliances are a core experience in Champions Destiny, and we want to keep on adding more to them. We cannot tell you when this feature will arrive, but rest assured, it will happen. Lehaje H-U-N, sorry if I butcher your name, asks, will there ever be a 5 vs 5, 2 vs 2, or 1 vs 1 game mode in the future? Well, as the old saying goes, never say never. However, we are not contemplating adding extra modes into Champions Destiny right now, we believe 3 vs 3 offers the best balance and suits our compact arenas. For the time being, we'll keep on working on the 3 vs 3 experience to make it as awesome as it can be. Thu TL is looking to maximize his builds and asks, what do you suggest is the best build for Rognor? Now, that is the kind of question our game designers love to answer. So, if you'd like to go extra tanky and turn yourself into the perfect nightmare, then you should focus on increasing your total health points as well as armor. Equip yourself with gear items like the Amulet of Protection, Last Hope, and the Lizard Shield, as they have plenty of healing and shielding abilities. Your mastery skills should be either Recover or Remove. With a build like this, you sacrifice damage, but in turn, Rognor becomes pretty much indestructible. If, on the other hand, action is for you, and you would like to play more offensive, then focus on increasing your magic damage. Try to maintain contact with your enemies at all times, as Rognor's passive ability will keep on applying magic damage around you. Gear items such as the Code of Chaos and the Angry Talisman will boost your attacks, while the Torn Breach Backpack, for example, will boost your tank roll whenever needed. As for mastery skills, use either Bleeding or Blink. Phew, that was an answer. Did I get any XP for this? And finally, a player in need asks, I need 50k gold. Can you give me some gold? Um, sorry mate, what about no? Okay guys, so that was it. Thank you so much for participating. If there are any other questions or suggestions you may have, you can drop them in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.